This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to be covering type is, which is another version of type guard, which works with else cases. And this was introduced in Python 3.13. So to get started, we're going to import from typing first type is, then type guard so we can compare the two, and finally assert type. Now, if you're using PyCharm, there's a chance that the code editor is not going to recognize type is just yet. It's going to work perfectly fine if you're using Python 3.13, but the IDE is going to tell you that it doesn't exist or it cannot find the reference to type is. It's still going to work, so don't worry about this just now. So to get started, I'm going to be using the example that was used in the documentation. So here we're going to create a function called isString, and this will take an object of type object. So you can put in any object and it's going to narrow this down to a string. But what it's going to return is type is of type string. And here we're going to return is instance, the object of string is the object of type string. And you can put logic that's more complicated than this. Whatever type you want to end up with goes inside here. Now we can create a function called check, which will take an object of type string or integer. And that's going to return none because we are only executing code. Now we can use our function to check if it is a string. So we just pass in that object. Then we can assert the type of the object to be of type string. And we use assert type to assert that the object is of this type. And this is only used for the static type checker. If we were to run this code, assert type does absolutely nothing at runtime. But like this, we can actually assert that the object is of type string before we run the code. Else, we can type in assert type that the object will be of type integer. And that also works perfectly fine because object is of type integer. Here we narrowed down the type. We actually checked whether it was of type string, which means there can only be one else case, which is the integer. So as I mentioned earlier, type is works with the negative case or the else case, as opposed to using type guard, which only works with the first case. So right here, type guard is like, okay, we can infer with this check that this will be a string, that the object will be a string in this block. But outside of this scope, it's going to pretend like nothing happened, like we never did that check, which means right now when we assert the type for object, it thinks it can be either a string or an integer. It does not carry on that information that we already checked for type string. So that does not work outside of that scope. It does not work for that else block. While with type is, it actually ends up narrowing the type in both the if and else branches. And directly from the MyPy docs, there are a few other benefits of using type is. One is the compatibility requirement. Type is requires that the narrow type T be compatible with the input type of the function, while type guard does not have this restriction. And then type inference. With type is, the type checker may infer a more precise type by combining existing type information with T. But while we're here, let's throw in one more custom example. So I'm just going to remove all of this, and I'm going to create a custom class called orange. This is going to have one method called orange, and it will return none, and we will print that the orange remains silent. And obviously the IDE is going to complain that this should be a static method because we're not using self. But we're going to ignore that for now. We're just going to copy and paste this and type in banana, banana. And here we can type in something silly such as banana thinks about saying something but remains silent. And just because you guys are complaining, let's just change that to static method. So add static method and add static method. And like this, we have no errors. The IDE does not complain anymore. Anyway, let's create a function that narrows the type once again using type is. So here we can type in def is banana. And what this is going to take is an object of type object. And it's going to return to us type is banana. So that we can guarantee that this is a banana or not. Now we will return is instance, the object of type banana. That will be our check. And finally, we can create a method called check fruit, which is going to take a fruit of type banana or orange. And that's going to return none. Now, if it is a banana, the fruit, then we can type in fruit.banana. Else, we can type in fruit.orange. 
And this code will work perfectly fine. We're not going to get any errors because type is works also with the else block, unlike type guard, which once again, for some reason is not going to understand that the else block is of type orange once we've already checked for the banana. So that's a huge plus in type narrowing. And I mean, if we were to type in fruit.banana here, we will get an exception or not an exception. I mean, we will also get an exception, but we're also going to get a warning in addition that orange has no attribute banana because now we actually told the code editor explicitly what type this should actually be. With type guard here, it wouldn't work, but it also wouldn't work with orange because it would still think that fruit is of both of these types. And of course, banana does not have the orange method. So type is, is very effective here. And we can also check that the fruit of orange is actually an orange because just to show you that this actually does work, we're going to do this. And when we run it, you'll see that the orange remains silent. If we paste in a banana, we will get the banana clause executed. But yeah, that just about covers everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Do let me know in the comment section down below whether you have any more questions or comments regarding this video. Otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.